Hello, everyone. Now we are going to go to tutorial three, which is uh, chapter seven. And we are going to show you how to use the SolidWorks to create this model. So once again, it's chapter seven, tutorial three. So before we start, we probably want to read the, ins the instructions a little bit. So it says the model has a uniform wall thickness of one millimeter. So they are all one millimeter. And also the fillet is going to be one millimeter. So forget about the two millimeters. The book just had you to do two millimeters and it's not going to work and the book size then change to one millimeter. So we will just do one millimeter directly, which means all those fillets, so they are all one millimeters. Okay, one millimeter. So as the first step, we are going to create this part. Okay, create this part. So let's get it started. So we go to SolidWorks and go to a new, say a part, say OK, and check the units, look good. Then we go to sketch, go into sketch, and at this time we want to create on the top plan, OK, on the top plan. Now if we look at the sketch, the sketch, they put the origin at here, and we are going to do the same thing. And also, the sketch is symmetrical, so we probably only want to do the right part, because it has more dimensions here, then we mirror it. Okay, then we mirror it. So we only draw the right part, then we mirror it. Let's go back to SolidWorks, get the part started. So I am going to draw some lines, draw the contours, something like this. So first of all, I'm going to make a center line. From the bottom to the top. Make sure the vertical relation is showing up. Then I'm going to drag this point on the center line. I am going to make another line to go up from here, go up, go to the left, say OK, and make another vertical line, go up, going left. and make a circle, technically half circle, from here about there, and say OK. And uh, make a line to connect both. From here to the quarter plus and draw another line from the quarter, straight down, and draw a circle. Recognize the quarter spot, then put it here, and make a straight line, go down, and make a circle so it's not actually a line it up with line. So uh, so don't drop it down, line, line it up, but it's actually uh, vertical here. 
So I want to make a circle here and recognize this point. And uh, draw another line that is uh, connect here. So it's supposed to be tangent with the circle. So I am going to go ahead and add a tangent relation. So this line and the circle, they are supposed to be tangent. And say OK. Now I am going to give a dimensions before I trim them off. So the dimension, the bottom here, it says 28. So I go 28 here. And the upper one, it says 24. So from here to the center line, it says 24 divided by 2. Actually, I made a mistake here. It's not 28. It's half of 28. So it's 14. And the next one from here to the center, supposed to be a half of 20, which is 10. And the overall, not overall, the height of this part from here to here, it says 62. And from a center circle to another circle, it says 60. And I'm going to uh, draw this part a little bit down so the circle is not that big. And move this a little bit down as well. Like this. And the cable giving dimensions. So this dimension size is 10. And the dimension here to there says it's a 30. And the dimension from here, center to the hole of the hole of the circle to the center line, it says 72 divided by 2, half of 72. And the top dimension from the center to the center line, it says 82 divided by 2. And let's look at the diameter of the circle. So it says uh, 10, 4 times R10. So each one, the radius is 10. So I go to uh, smarter dimension. So this is 10. So diameter is 20, and the diameter here is 20 as well. Let's look what dimensions we're missing. So there is a dimension 82 that we don't have. So we're going to add that there. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's probably okay because we already put here. So let's see if it's already fine. Put here to there. Says, whoop, wrong one. Go back. So I don't need this line, but the center line. So I to mention here to the center line. That's 41. Okay, so it's overdefined, so we are good for that. And we probably need a very the tangent relationship of the line and the circle. So add relation, circle, and the line. 
So I selected the one more thing. So let's go back and exit, do it one more time. Add a relation. That's two. Say tangent. Say OK. And this is still blue, so let's go back, see if any dimensions we are missing. So this is R5. So the radius of the small one is S5. So we dimension this part. Diameter is 10, because the radius is 5. Now I am fully defined, except here. So let's take a look at this line. So from the picture, it's supposed to be a terminate to be terminated here. So we are going to uh, drag this point down there. So it uh, doesn't work. So I'm going to delete this line and remake it. Delete this line and remake it from here to the point. And now it says fully defined. Now I am going to uh, draw a top part because we are still missing a part, this part. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and draw this part. So, so from the center line, here and about here and give a dimension so the thickness size is 4 so I am missing a relation here vertical I'm going to add that manually so okay now it's fully defined But I don't think so because I have not given the length yet. So let's do uh, go ahead and check. Oh, this middle point is not actually the middle point. So I'm going to delete this dimension, uh, this relation, and the dimension this line again. So the dimension of that is 60. So half of the 60 is 30. And say OK with that. So actually it should be fully defined, but it's not. So the reason of that is, as you can see, there is a blue point. So it's not recognized that the point is on the line. So I'm going to grab the point and drag it on the line So until it's black. So now they're all black, so it's fully defined. So we are good. And as the next, we are going to trim off the extra part. So I do trim. Always select the bottom one and the trim of this part, this part, as well as this part. Then say OK. And let's compare with the sketch. Now actually I'm missing another two lines, this one and this one. And I'm going to go ahead and add them one here so make sure the relations they are showing up the same thing here from here to there with them they all look good to me then I am uh, ready to mayor so I am going to uh, mayor entities and select all of them. So I don't want to select point 8, so let me delete it first. So I select all of them, except the center lines. Then I select the center line as mayor about. So it's a duplicated, look good to me. I say OK. And it's still fully defined, so I'm good. And next, we are going to extrude. So first of all, we are going to extrude this part. Then we are going to extrude the rest of them. And we will need to figure out all the height informations. So let's go back and look at all the height. So 
So the thickness at the bottom here, it says 4. Okay, so we put 4 there. We go back to SOLIDWORKS. So this is still underdefined because we haven't saved it yet. So let's save the work first. And it's uh, chapter 7, tutorial 3. Say save. Now it's, it went away, so uh, it's still fully defined. We go to sketch and go to extrude it. And select the bottom part, the end part. So both of them with the height 4. And say OK. Let's look at the sketch. Next part, we are going to uh, extrude this part. Okay, so let's look at the dimensions there. So it actually it says 32. Okay, it says 32. And uh, as the next, we are going to extrude the center, this small part. Okay, this small part. And the dimension says it's 30. So let's go back here. So we could say OK for this part. Then select the sketch one first. Okay, so we do uh, extrude it again. We select those two pieces and we say they are 32. And say OK. And say OK. And we select the sketch one one more time and do extrude it. And we do those two parts, okay, the center part. So this one and this one. And the height is 30. And say OK. Say OK one more time. Actually, it, I made a mistake. So the height here is supposed to be 10. Okay, so 32 should be at the top. So let's go ahead and fix that. So make those small two pieces to 10. So let's go back here and do this part. So right click and edit features. So instead of a 32, we make it as 10. And say OK, say OK again. And we go to sketch one again and extrude it and do those two parts okay those two parts thus and that so they're supposed to be 32 do 32 then say okay okay and then next we're going to extrude the, the two sides so this part okay so if we go back so this part actually so uh, there are actually two dimensions on the drawing. I think that's probably a mistake. So this size 5, but this size 4. Do you see it? 4 and 5. So let's just make everything as 5. Okay, make everything as 5. So let's go back to the SOLIDWORKS and select the sketch 1 one more time and extrude it. And select those two pieces. Make them as 5 and say OK and OK and now let's extrude those two parts so I think that's 10 as well so similar things here OK so I am going to uh, edit the part because I'm trying to add those two there as well so this is our part extruded 2 for me so it's highlighted so I right click and go into edit feature then select more things so check the select here so until it's highlighted I select the dust two parts as well so there are 10 as well and say OK and next we are going to extrude the dust part so if we go back the dimension of that part is 34 as the height so we select the sketch one one more time, extrude it, those two parts, it's 34, 
they say OK. OK. And this is the part. And uh, now we compare. So this is what we have done so far. And the next step, we are going to add the fillets. OK, so this part and this part. Previously, they are all square. And we are going to add fillets on top of that. And we are going to use another fillet tool. So uh, we go to uh, fillet. Go to fillet here. And instead of check the first one, we are going to check the last one. So we are going to use the full round fillet. So I select the last one. And now it asks me to put three surfaces. So the first spot is the side one, the second spot is the top one, and the third spot is the, the other side surface. So for us, if we want to create a fillet here to make it round, then the first surface, a side surface, is going to be this one, and the top surface is going to be this one. And the third uh, side the surface, one more time, is going to be this one. OK, so we are going to select it in this way. So first of all, the first spot is highlighted. And we select the side surface. And we click the second one. And uh, choose the top surface. And then we select the third spot until it's highlighted. And we select another side surface. And then we say OK. And we got a fillet. And the same thing, we're going to do this. OK? And uh, we go to fillet, click a fillet. And the last one is selected. And the same thing, side, top, and side. So for the side one, it's going to be this surface. And the top one is going to be this surface. And another side one is going to be this surface. And say OK. And I create the second one. And the third one is this part. So we do the same thing. The fillet. And the side surface is going to be this one. And then I go to the top surface. Select the top one. And I go to another side one. I select another side surface. I say OK. Now I got all the fillets. And I save the work often. And let's look at the next step. We are going to uh, create a circular extruded feature here. So first of all, we need to draw this part on this plan, the front one, the front plan. We're going to draw this part on there. So uh, let's go back to the part. And uh, the dimensions, they give them as well, 14, 17, 26, and 4. So we go back to SOLIDWORKS. We're going to draw on this side, not the other side, from the big side. So I probably want to go to the front view. Let's see if that's, a, if that's the front. Yes, that's the front view. And I'm going to draw this shape. I'm going to uh, go to sketch and select a sketch. Ask me a surface. I select the front plane, so the top of the front one. And first of all, I'm going to draw a circle. So anywhere. Make a circle and dimension that as R20. So diameter is going to be a 40. And also give a height from here to the bottom should be 17. And then put those two points as vertical, so add relation, this point and the origin, see they are vertical, 
Now the circle is fully defined. Now I'm going to uh, draw two small circles. So that's too small. So be cautious that uh, this two parts is not actually in the center of the circle. Right? So this is the center line of the circle. So those two parts is actually below the center line. So it's not actually on the circle. But uh, that's a small one. They're on the circle. Right? So, so I am going to draw those two small ones first on the circle, then dimension them. So I go to small circles, draw it a little bit below one circle, and make another one on the big circle. And I'm going to dimension them. It says uh, radius, the diameter is 4. So diameter is 4. Same thing here, diameter is 4. And also they gave the height, size is 14. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Dimension from here to the bottom as 14. And dimension the point to the bottom as 14. Now they are fully defined. Now I'm going to draw another uh, other two circles here. So I go to SolidWorks, select the circle, draw one here, and draw another one here. Then the radius says six. So I'm going to dimension the radius here as a 6, so diameter is going to be 12. Same thing here, radius is a 6, so diameter is 12. Now they are all black. Then I'm going to trim off. So before I do that, I want to draw another line here. Okay, draw another line here. So I go back here, a line from here to there. And say OK. Now I am going to trim off the extra pieces. So do this. Select the bottom one. And trim off this. Trim off this part. So I don't need this either. I don't need this either. And take out this. Take out this as well. And uh, two one in the center. Also the bottom one. And say OK. And this is what I want. And then the next step is going to extrude that part. So let's go back and look at the dimension, the thickness of that part. So the thickness size is 5. OK, so it's 5. We go back here, and we extrude. So select the sketch first, then features, extrude it, and it says 5. And say OK, say OK. And this is the part. And let's go to the next. The next, we are going to do this part. Okay, that's two sides. Okay, so we did a bottom before, but we have not done those two yet. So we are going to create this sketch. Then we extrude it down. Then why would uh, why don't we extrude it up? Because we would have to do it twice. Okay, so if we draw on this surface, then just extrude up to the next. So this one will stop here, and this one will stop here. So we are going to create a top, sur a top surface here, and draw that, and extrude down. So let's see what's the dimension of that. So actually the height here is 20. So we need to create another surface on top of the top surface as 20, offset as 20. 
So we are going to go ahead and do that. So we create a reference geometry, a plan, and select as the top surface. Let's double check if the top surface there. Yes, it's at the bottom. So we select that. Say it's 20. And say OK. And we have a surface there. Then we probably want to go to a front, uh, the top view, and draw the sketch like that. The sketch here. Okay, so we are going to draw the sketch here. Then we mirror it. Okay, so let's go back there. So first of all, I probably want to put a center lines. So go to sketch. Well, ask me, uh, so this plan one recognized already. And I do a center line first from the bottom to the top. And make sure the vertical relations is showing up. Then say OK. And uh, draw a couple of lines from here to anywhere here. And we're going to dimension them later to there. And now we are going to draw a circle. That is a straight down here, a circle here, and it connected to this point. And go back to straight line. So from the quarter spot, okay, the quarter spot, go to here, recognize here, then connect the two there. And we are going to dimension them. So the top one, it says 22. And the height one says is 47. Let's take a look at that. Say cancel. So there are some middle point, which I don't know what they are. So we don't need this relation. So let's uh, take that out. Okay, doesn't let me to. So I'm going to delete this line. And remake this line as well because there is a relation. And make a line here, recognize the center point until uh, the uh, relation is showing up. So the horizontal is showing up. Then go up. Say OK. Now let's, uh, oh, the relation is still there. I'm trying to delete it. OK, it went away. And give a height, 47. Then give a radius of the circle as 10. The diameter is 20. So actually, it does not recognize the quarter point anymore. So I'm going to add a relation here to make these two points a vertical. So add a relation, thus and that. See, they are vertical. And say, OK, now they are all black. They are all fully defined. Then we are going to trim off the extra parts. Delete this. And say, OK, now it's still fully defined. And I'm good to marry it. So I go to uh, Mayor in this and select them all except the center line. So they are selected. Mayor about the center line here is move Mayor there. And still fully defined. I'm good. Then the minus sign here because I have not saved it yet. After I save, then it went away because we need to regenerate or recreate. And now we are going to extrude those parts. Okay, so it's on the top plane. We are going to extrude them. So uh, we select a sketch three first. Okay, sketch three first. Then features, extrude it. Then going down. So this is the height. This is the wrong direction actually. So we flip the direction. Okay, flip the direction. And now direction is right, but the height is not right. 
okay so we're going to change from a blind to up to next okay up to next now as you can see this one stopped here this one stopped at here which is what we are looking for which is great then we say okay and we created that part after that the step after is create the shell feature okay the shell feature so let's figure out the thickness of the part so it says the model has a uniform shell thickness of one millimeter all right we all do one millimeter there so we go to SOLIDWORKS and we do shell again so whichever part that you want to remove then you click that so we want to remove the bottom part make it empty so uh, the thickness is going to be one okay one and say okay and we got the empty part at the bottom then we probably don't want to see this surface anymore so uh, let's uh, hide that plan one hide that and let's look at the next step we are going to create a hole here at the surface and do extruded cut also another four holes so let's go to sketch and select a surface so this is a surface that we are looking for so select that and make a circle so I probably want to change to the front plan so make a circle here and give a dimension so the diameter says it's 16 diameter so it's fully defined because it has the same center of the outer circle say ok now select the sketch 4 and go back to features do extruded cut and uh, blend maybe do uh, up to next so this is what we are looking for up to the next then say ok and we got this hole next we are going to create this four holes so let's look at the dimension of this four so if they are similar they are the same or different so this one it says uh, diameter is 8 the other two it's 10 so they are different so we are going to create them there go to SOLIDWORKS and go to SKETCH and ask us to select a plan so we do this plan and draw a circle anywhere here and also another circle here another circle here another circle here and we are going to dimension them so go to smart dimensions so we probably want to switch to the front plan first and give a dimension it says 8 so go here and diameter is 8 and diameter here is 8 as well and the diameter here is 10 and diameter here is 10 as well and the distance in between it says 72 the distance between here it's 60 so 72 and 60 from here to here it's 72 same thing 
Oh, they are different. So from here to there is 60. And here to here is 60 as well. And from the center to the origin is supposed to be half of 72. So 72 divided by 2. And uh, the top one, it's 82. From here to there is 82. Eighty-two, and the half of half of that from the center to the origin is half of eighty-two, so it's forty-one. And they are still blue. The reason of that is those two holes are supposed to be concentric. Okay, so let's add a relation there. So thus and that to be concentric, it's a little bit over defined. So let's uh, go back. Let's go back to look at the dimension. So actually, we need a 30 here. OK, so from center to there is a 30. So we go back here, select a smart dimension. So grab the arc. So you don't have to uh, do the center. So just uh, grab the arc here and do the center. And it says they are 30. And now they are black. And do the same thing here, but the dimension doesn't look right. Let's uh, take a look at here first. So do the center here and to do the edge here. And this is a 30 as well. So this one look right. So let's redo it. It's probably recognized at some points. So say OK and delete this dimension. And we do a center to the edge. So make sure we select the edge so don't pick up something else. Yeah, this look right to me. Drop it down, say 30. Now they are all fully defined. Then we are going to uh, do extruded cut. Select uh, four of them. So let's go back to select the sketch first. Then go to extruded. Then do uh, cut through, through all. So it's around. Oh, it's supposed to be an extruded cut. I'm sorry. So select the sketch five, the extruded cut. Then look at the direction. Yeah, look right. And do a through all. Then get everything cut it and say OK. And this is what we got so far. So it look good. <coughs> Next step, we are going to add a fillets to all the parts. So here, they are all fillets. And we just do one millimeter cause, because the two millimeters are not going to work. Okay, so we do one millimeter by using fillet uh, expert instead of a select. Each line is going to take forever. So we use a fillet expert. So we go to fillet and select a fillet and go to fillet expert. Okay, fillet expert. Then we are going to select a line. So let's select the bottom line here. OK, in the back, the bottom line here. And say it's one millimeter. And select that. So let's uh, redo it, delete that and do a one millimeter first, then select the line. Then you all have options. Okay, so put a one millimeter one millimeter there first. Then select the line until all those options pop up. Okay? So you select the last one. So all convex, which are one hundred and seventy seven edges. You could have other options. Okay, get a less smaller. 
but I select the last one. So all convex. Let's get selected. And you do apply. And now it will take a few moments. Let the software run because they are going to add all fellas there. It will take a few moments. We'll come back later. And this is after. So I got uh, the fellas there. But sometimes it will tell you SolidWorks can't find the solution. And just say OK right now because some uh, uh, fellas, they are too small to make, but uh, that is okay. So uh, just uh, try it. If it doesn't work, then that is okay as well. And if you failed, that is okay. And uh, just uh, exit the fellas. And here are the fellas that they created. So apparently, they did not create everything for me because some of the corners, they are too small, but uh, that's okay. So uh, just uh, create the fellas here, then you are in a good shape. Then let's take a look at the part. They look uh, reasonable for me. Then I'm going to put it in a good view and save the work. Then that's all we have for this part, chapter seven, tutorial three. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.